just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night and you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayla Crayon. If you're new, I'm here on my beauty channel. I'm so excited. If you guys follow me on my vlog channel, you'll know that I recently did my closet, my closet room. So this is my closet. Welcome to my closet. Um, I'm super excited for today's video because I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me and I'm using a palette from Decca Scarlet if you don't know what Decca Scarlet is it is a subscription palette every two months you get a new palette and they feature some of your faves this palette here was in collaboration with my girl Raven Elise she's a good friend of mine so let's open up what her palette looks like when you open up this palette you get a little card it says meet Raven Elise Raven Elise is a star of our new palette Raven's a down-to-earth Texan with a glam twist so I'm super excited to use her palette today and we're just going to pull her out. So this is what this palette looks like. It has a flower on it and it has Decca Scarlet in pink and when you pull it out it is a white palette with this flower on it. It says Decca Scarlet in pink and when you flip it open it has two lip colors. It has three eyeshadows and two cheeks. So I think this is a blush color. And this is a highlight color, but I'm pretty sure all these colors, if you want to use it on your eye or on your cheeks, you could, you know, do that as well. So what's special about Raven's palette is some of the names of the eyeshadows. So you have an eyeshadow called Zaya, Shambles, Rant, Literally, Bay. These are some of the words that Raven uses a lot, so I think that adds a cute little touch to this palette. I do have a special link for you guys in the description box if you guys want 30% off this palette that I'm going to be using on my eyes and my face today. Just click the link in the description box and you can get your deck of Scarlet and support Raven. Jumping right into our chit chat, I want to say that today is not the best day for me. I would say today is actually a bad day. I don't know if I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Um, nothing like big happened. I'm just a little down. And I think as an adult, I have came to the realization that some days are not going to be the bestest days. Like nothing bad has to happen. It's just every day won't be magical. <laughs> Um, and I'm learning like you know how to deal with that and like what that means to me so for me I am in my life I am the strong friend um, I am the friend that motivates my other friends like I'm there for you when you need me like what's going on is everything okay um, I may not check up on my friends as much as I should but if they come to me, I'm all ears, you need to talk, you need to have girl talk, like, do we need to go to dinner and get a little drink, like, let's figure it out, like, that's me. Um, and my friends are supportive, but recently in my life, I just kind of felt like, I don't know, like, I don't have anyone to talk to. Um, just about life, and, no, let's not say just about life. Being a business owner, being an entrepreneur, like the struggles that I have in that, like I think I have my friends, like we can talk about like guys and stuff like that. But as far as like my struggles with, you know, being an entrepreneur and success and where I want to go in life, I feel like sometimes I am kind of just alone or I'm like alone motivating myself or I don't have like the greatest push like I have to push myself and I've been good with that like I think all my life I've done well with pushing myself and getting myself you know through the door and getting opportunities and I think I've done really good but um, now as of recently I just feel like dang like I really wish I had someone to like talk to and to push me and to motivate me um, and I don't feel like I had that person in my life. And I don't want to take away from my friends because they're still my friends. They're there for me. And if I really needed to talk, I can. But I think I'm like missing like a certain type of person in my life. Um, I think everybody is in your life for, you know, a reason and they have a purpose. But I don't have someone that like feels that purpose or I don't know if I will ever you know as you get older it's harder to meet friends 
Okay, not necessarily me. I kind of got enough friends. But um, it is harder to meet new people because people are set in their friend groups or like just going out. You're not in those social settings anymore. So definitely life after college, which has... I'm going on two years since graduation. This is my second year um, out of college. And I don't know. It still feels weird because because life is unpredictable. Like it's always something going on, like bills and oh my God, like it's new, it's still new. Like two years later, okay, a year and almost a half later, it's still new. Like I still very much am learning how to be an adult. I'm 23 and life is hard. <laughs> Let's just say that, like every year is something more. Um, I think at one point in my life I was like, I felt like like when you're like when you become an adult like at some point like you're just happy and content and completely wrong. I mean maybe for some people if they're just that personality type, but my personality my personality type is a go-getter like I'm ready for it, always like let's go. What's the next thing in life? I want to do this, I want to do that. So for me, I put a lot of pressure on myself to achieve goals, to be this perfect person. I don't even think it's other people that put these, well, the internet can put those expectations on you, but I think me, myself, and I can do damage with that. Just like the expectations I have on myself and where I should go and what I feel like I should be doing and I haven't made it here and I need to be here and I need to work harder, 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 harder. And honestly, oh my God, you will work your ass off trying to be at the top really like literally it you can never stop working like you never no time off always work always um always got to do something so i've been dealing with that i've been dealing with um just uh should i say legally that's not the word i'm looking for but um business wise you know setting up your entities and your different business structures and taxes oh my god I feel like I've talked about you know taxes briefly in like one of my blogs on my blog channel but oh my god people always say like yeah I want to be successful and girl it's more problems at the top honey this taxes stuff stressing me out like I have a bookkeeper that um, looks at my monthly expenses. I have to pay sales tax. I have to make sure customers are okay. <laughs> I am trying to, still trying to like build a, a strong team out that everybody knows what to do without like me coaching them or like having to oversee them, which oh my God, like that's so hard too. <sighs> I know you, you guys probably think like I'm like exaggerating, but Mm, it's not an easy cookie especially like you know doing this straight out of college I don't have anybody that I can look to for help or advice or anything like I feel like if I fall on my face and something fails well I fall on my face and something fails like that in itself just knowing that stressful yeah my eyebrows completed finally so um I think that the misconception of being successful is that like no problems, like life is gravy and maybe like the higher you go, like all the way, all the way up at the top, but like the middle stages of just like getting your foot through the, the door of success, girl, you're going to stumble, you're going to fumble, you're going to fall. Trust, that's where I am at. I'm stumbling, I'm fumbling, I'm making mistakes and at 23, I have to be okay with making mistakes and I think it's so hard being on the internet and making mistakes because it's like you don't want to make mistakes publicly you know can I take my L's in peace and like learn from it but it's even harder when you have to you know take your L's in public and learn from it <laughs> it's like uh, I don't know it's just really hard so my assistant is on the way to my house right now um because i have lots of content that i'm behind on and i need to plan out stuff and orders need to be shipped for my hair company glam textures 
and it's a lot. It's a lot and I don't want anyone to ever like think that being an entrepreneur or a business owner is ever easy. Like I don't even want to tell that lie. I think the lifestyle like and the stuff that's put out and portrayed of an entrepreneur or business owner to be is very like rewarding and it looks so glamorous but the behind the scenes is not. <laughs> It's not. I have wanted to quit so many times, like with my business, um, with YouTube. I've like sometimes I'll just uh, I guess something similar to writer's block, or I'm just like, oh my god, I don't know what content to create. I don't really have anybody to bounce ideas off of, and then I'm just like, do I do? What am I doing? What do I do? How do I get out of this? And how do I keep going? And it's something that you're going to have to find within. So recently, I have been on a search to find a black therapist. Now this is something that I've never done before or have been interested in, but I find that the more I climb the ladder to success, the lonelier I feel. I feel like people don't understand me or they can't relate to me or the things that I want to talk about I feel like may come off as like bragging but I'm like I want to get to the next level of success but who do I like who do I go to 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 talk about the next level of success like am I supposed to be alone at the top like being successful that's pretty boring I don't want that so I the next thing that I know is to one get a business coach or business mentor and then also a therapist I'm like doing steps that I'm not supposed to do yet because I'm talking but um, if you guys have had any experience with therapists let me know um, in the comment section I haven't I don't know if it'll be right for me I don't know if it's something that I actually need so maybe I could go like every two weeks I don't know like what do you update your therapist on like everything or little <laughs> girl but some some topics I feel like I don't talk about um, just because I feel like I don't have anyone to talk about with so I just kind of keep it inside of me and like life goes on and I keep going but that doesn't mean I dealt with the problem of whatever it is I can't even think of a problem like right now on the top of my head that's like that big but maybe that's the thing like maybe it's the small things that I need to talk to someone about that may lead up to the bigger things about myself so recently I have wanted to quit and it's so crazy because I'm a very ambitious person um, but I do have times where I'm not okay and I just want to talk to someone and talk about my feelings and maybe I just need someone to talk it through, like just a pick me up. I don't feel like I, I do get down. I don't feel like I ever talked about me being down on YouTube, but I do get down as a person and I do get stressed out. Um, I do want to quit. I do want to give up. Um, life gets hard. Um, and I have to push myself to not give up and to keep going and it will be better days. I turned off this AC and it keeps coming on. So I'm so sorry if you guys hear it, but I promise I turned it off. And it just popped back on. Um, <clears throat> what else is going on mentally with me? What else is going on? Yeah, for me mentally, I've just been struggling with the next phase in my life like being a full adult like I feel like the first two years out of college it's really finding your balance and you begin to find your balance after the two-year mark maybe five year mark for some people but I feel like I'm like adjusting um, I recently moved getting settled in my place and I really like this place I don't feel like I want to move next year like I, I'm actually pretty happy here you know like finally having this like settled feeling it's like dang like finally finally I'm like 
waking up in a place that I love, living a place that I love, doing the things that I love, still with complications and rough days, but doing what I love, um, trying to produce content that I love, working with brands that I love, like, this is like where I want to be. But with that being said, still having bad days. I do wear um, eyelash extensions and I still put on eyelashes when I want to, but as you can see, my eyelash extensions look pretty cute. So this is my typical foundation routine, like what I would normally do before I do my eyes. I'm gonna move on to the Decca Scarlet palette so I can do the eyes and put some highlighter on. I think what's really important with, um, you know, having your own business and being an entrepreneur is being able to put aside your emotions and push yourself and motivate yourself. Like today, I wanted to stay in bed, but I said, you know what? We're, I'm not gonna let how I feel stop all the things that I need to do today. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna be productive, and you have to have that discipline. Oh my God, discipline is so like the biggest part. It's mental. Being an entrepreneur, having a business, it is mental, y'all. And if you can't get past the mental part and push yourself, because let's say you have this dream. Let's say, let's take a dream that I hate when people say. People say, I wanna be a millionaire. I'm gonna be a millionaire when I'm by the time I'm 25. And then I'm the type of person, I might just ask, oh, how are you gonna be a millionaire? Like, you know, what what are you do what are you what are your goals? Like, what are your steps? Like how at what time, what place? In two years, how are you going to get there? In five years, like, how? And a lot of people are like, I don't know, something. Well, at this rate, you're not going to be a millionaire because you don't even have the goals in line. You're not even working towards this millionaire status that you want to be. You're like just saying and hoping basically that you're going to win the lottery or something because it's you're not doing anything to get there. That's the, that's basically the equivalent of, you know, saying you want to do something, saying you want to start something and not starting it. Oh, I want to be a YouTuber. Be a YouTuber. Do it. Why are you not doing it? It's so many videos out here. Shoot, pick up your phone, do it. What are we talking about it for? Um. So I think a lot of things in life are really mental. So, let's see. I have a few options. I could use Zaya in the inner, Balm on the out, Vibe on the brow bone, literally right here, literally right there. Or, or I could not use Zaya. I wanna use Zaya, it's so cute. <laughs> decisions. So I'm going to be using Bay in the crease just a little bit. I'm going to put balm on my outer corners. I am going to use vibes at my brow bone and literally on the lid in the center and then literally on my highlight and bay a little bit of bay as blush. And then I think I'm going to use Shambles lip color. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye the same way that I did this one and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my other eye done. I am going to be doing my eyeliner with the Decca Scarlet Throwback Black Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner. What I really like about the um, highlighter cheek color called Literally is that it has like these gold glitters in it. So I really like that about the eyeshadow. 
The point on this eyeliner is pretty good. I love these type of eyeliners better than like the liquid felt tip. You know the one that you pull out? Like uh, this. Mm -mm, don't like it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I like the, like, like you're drawing. It's easier. And voila, I just feel like I'm like coloring in my line. I'm like, ooh, ooh, color with a marker. That's what it feels like. Um, I'm going to do some mascara. Actually, I may not need to do lashes. That's what I love about individuals. Put on some black liner on my waterline. I'm gonna go back and touch up all of my makeup and put like a, oh my God, look what just happened. <laughs> it fell all on the floor. This is my favorite though, guys. <gasps> This is my favorite though, guys. It's a translucent powder, mattifying powder for oily girls like myself to keep your makeup in place all day. Am I just broke? Okay. Okay, so for the lip color, I am going to use the Shambles, which is the like lighter nude brown. And I am going to line my lips with the brown color as well. I'm here for pleasure, so don't I found a lip liner brush. Um, I'm gonna pick up some of this product. Wiggle my brush in. Ooh, I actually like this color. Um, favorite song recently. I keep playing it. I'm back yet again. Recently I've had nothing to wear or <laughs> I have plenty of stuff to wear but in my closet I'm just like I think I have nothing to wear. So I just took this jean jacket from um, Forever 21 put it off my shoulders, buttoned it a little bit, and now we have a shirt. Cute, right? Um, I didn't put on the highlighter, which is literally, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. What I like to do with the highlighter is I like to spray um, a little bit of spray on the brush, or setting spray on the brush, so right there. One side of my face, get literally. Put the highlighter on. I feel like it sticks better. So, spray the brush. Spray my face. Put it at the highest point. I'm gonna put the smallest amount of blush, like literally. Tap, tap. <laughs> See? Smallest. This is the makeup look that I came up with using the palette from Decca Scarlet by Raven. I'm so proud of you, girl. Love the palette. Thank you for sending it to me. Um, I guess the conclusion of this video is life gets hard. Having a business is hard. Push through. Still be motivated. Um, get up. Write down your goals and just do it. Don't let anyone stop you. Handle your shit. Okay, like a grown woman or a grown man and get through it. Um, nobody likes complainers. Um, nobody cares if you lose. You just have to do it. Like, And when you do it, you're going to be satisfied and you're going to be happy. You just have to push through the hard days, girl. Um, research, research, research. Anything you want to do. This is like me speaking to myself. Like, Research. If you want to do it, do it. Um, whenever you feel not motivated, do it anyways, okay? Do it anyways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just rambling. This is just literally how I woke up today, what I was feeling, and you know, just like me trying to be a little bit more open. I feel like I have recently like not been as open, um, but like this is me like trying to get back into like, you know, like letting you guys know how I feel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you click the link in the description box if you want to buy my girl's Raven palette from Decca Scarlet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.